We start with breaking news. We've just learned that the judge has granted a temporary 14-day restraining order in part that stops Portland police from using tear gas. This order says Portland police must restrict their use of tear gas and it should only be used in a situation where the lives or safety of the public, including those housed at the Justice Center or police, are at risk. It says tear gas must not be used to disperse crowds. Our Fox 12's Camilla RT listened in to today's hearing before this order was granted and has a look at the lawsuit. This case was filed by nonprofit Don't Shoot Portland last week. They're arguing that Portland police are using tear gas indiscriminately against crowds of peaceful protesters and that the use of it could increase the spread of coronavirus. This afternoon's hearing was about the temporary restraining order requested by Don't Shoot Portland, which is separate from the main case pushing for a total ban of tear gas. That main case claims that using it on crowds where only a few individuals are acting unlawfully violates the First and Fourth Amendments. Today, an attorney representing the city acknowledged that this is a huge challenge for police, but that in order to stop people from throwing fireworks and rocks at officers or breaking into the Justice Center and putting people in there at risk, they deploy tear gas as a last resort because officers can't, quote, run in and grab people they can't see. Attorneys for the plaintiffs disagree. So I would dispute whether in every circumstance uh, they just simply can't do that. I, I think they can, and they've made that clear in the past. The city's attorney also mentioned this afternoon that she acknowledges some specific uses of tear gas in the recent protests should be evaluated, but that doesn't warrant a complete ban. On Saturday, Mayor Ted Wheeler said Portland police would not use tear gas on protesters unless there was a major threat to life or safety. Reporting in Southeast Portland, Camilla Ortiz, Box 12, Oregon.